That was this dude talking about the birds and the bees. You can't have that conversation no more. Why not? Because now it's like the birds and the bees. The bees and the bees. The birds and the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? The birds with bees. <laughs> oh, this is mixing the, the race. The birds that used to be bees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that a thing, yo? That's a thing now. <laughs> oh, my think about God, it. yo. What the fuck? But think about it. You had the birds and the bees talk? No, I think I just... Yeah. I, I mean, I had Ox tell me, like... Well, no, I think no, no, I ain't even had Ox tell me. Ox used to just bring girls over. <laughs> And just let me know, like, I'm about to lock this door for a little bit. Don't she bother. Me. That's how I found out about the birds and bees. <laughs> that was my birds and bees. <laughs> that was it. You know what I mean? But now, but so now you can't say birds and the bees. Now it's bees and the bees, birds and the birds. Birds that's used racist. to be bees. Bees used to be birds. That's like telling people, yo, stick with your own kind. No, no, no. That's like the, the sexual shit. Like, girls are Oh, birds, because birds and bees boys. is like, yo, that's why people would be doing that shit to dogs? Yeah. Mm. So... That's why. That is a different conversation. Now we have different conversations out here. <laughs> yeah. right. That shit is. That shit went way out there. Yeah, that's just crazy. That's crazy, man. I don't even know how to. Yo, I don't even think you need to have that talk nowadays with kids because they got the internet. They know. I know, but they got the internet, but it could be for bad things too. Oh no, shit. Because that's what it's being exposed to a lot of gay stuff. That goes back to. Uh, whatever you find offensive and you really want you know what I'm saying because now it's uh so was, like Sire was telling me um they made remember the Muppets remember the Muppets cartoon mm -hmm. um Gonzo mm -hmm. yeah, okay. they made him non-binary so he doesn't um I mean Gonzo was nobody Gonzo was a little monster but yeah he was nothing he was, he was, nothing. He was the one with the like yeah, walk with the big dick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they took it off? No, no, it's still there. <laughs> He's non-binary, so now he doesn't see himself as a female or oh. a male. But it's like, damn, we down to the baby cartoons. Like, uh, how about Waka? Waka Waka. <laughs> he didn't even speak. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuzzy ass bear. <laughs> nah, Waka Waka wasn't a fuzzy. Nah, he was Waka, nothing neither. No, Waka Waka was the bear. You talking about monster? No, Waka Waka was Waka Waka. Waka Waka was the bear. He was the brown bear. Nah, Waka Waka. Yeah, up, you, wore the, you wore the tie. Nah, man. It was Gonzo with the dick in his nose. Waka Waka's a little ugly uh, um, Oscar the Grinch looking dude. The Grouch. It's Oscar the Grinch. You missed Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think they related it. Look, look, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, Muppets, what? Characters? Muppet characters. Babies. The Muppet characters. I'm going to tell you right babies. now. There's Waka Waka. So you got Gonzo. That shit was hanging. Kerm <laughs> <laughs> Animal. The animal was wild. He, he likes rock. And it was this dude, Fozzie, bro. Fozzie spoke, man. He and he said Waka Waka. No, he did not. Yo, that was his shit. Dude, there's an actual Waka Waka dude. Yo, who says Waka Waka in Muppets? Is that little green? Look, thing? it even says it, Fozzie Bear, Waka Waka. That was his shit. He made that shit popping. Really? Yeah, Waka Waka. I thought it was a little green dude. Nah, you talking about Oscar the Grouch? Oscar was wild. Nah, he fucked with garbage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was a homeless Moreno. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what they he made. Because Because they were racist towards him on... I yeah, mean, was Chappelle spoke on that. Yeah, he was wild. Yeah. I mean... He but treated him like shit. Big Bird too, though. He lived outside, bro. <laughs> That was a six foot bird. <laughs> He's homeless, bro. That's why he was a big bird. <laughs> he lived behind doors. Yeah. yeah, he was homeless. He lived outside. And he only rocked a tie, right? Didn't he rock That's a tie? That's it. Yeah. That's nigga all day. They gave him pants, though. <laughs> they probably. <laughs> they gave him pants. Yeah, you gotta cover up, bro. Yeah. Like, you got brown you can't pants. You walking on Sesame Street. Like that. You can be out in the block like this, my man. <laughs> uh, stuff of Luffigus was always high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was always like. He was coked up. His eyes are yeah. Was it cool? Because he was always like just down. Hey, bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was on some other shit. Oh man, I don't know, man. Like that when I heard that shit, like I'm like, all right. So now you and uh, the whole birth certificate thing. What about it? You don't have to put your child's gender in the birth certificate. That's what they're fighting for now. But it's like, come on. But stop. are you supposed to let the child choose? 
Yeah, I think so. Now, you can't raise me forced as to if I'm a male or female. Because what if I grow up and I'm like, now nah, I'm a man? <laughs> like, yeah. why you got that shit is unknown. I'm like, no. you know I got it. <laughs> Look at that shit. Oh, you're slinging that shit, bro. You know I got it. Like, yeah, you know man. I, mean? you, I feel like you, you, you mutant. You, you, you hitting that mute button on a lot of subjects, too, man. Yeah, like that's. I feel like that's something serious to talk about, but it goes back to like who's really offended and how do we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, is this just one community? You get what like I mean? How long like, is, is how long? What is enough? When is enough enough? Yeah, like when I'm sitting there asking, like, what am I? Well, when I first, <laughs> <laughs> what am I? When I first, when I looked into that birth certificate one, that's when I was like, all right, bro, like, I get doing it with the kid cartoons, like that's fine, but that, like, that's pushing it. Yeah, that's extra. Like, yeah, your child's being born. Because at the end of the day, it's like I was trying to break down. It's at the end of the day, there's a female reproductive system and but there's is, a male. Is that, you is get that, what I mean? Is that like, on, in a way, people looking at it also, and they probably not. As You know, back in the day, they said that they made the AIDS epidemic yeah. to, for what? For people to stop reproducing as, like they were? Oh, that's what it was? And then, yeah, that's uh, why they made it. So uh, that's why it was like real populated, like in the hoods, like in bad neighborhoods. Like, yeah, it's a stop. Yeah, yeah, that's so for people to stop population pop, pop, control. Pop, population control. Right, yeah. You don't think that's population control in a way? And people are not seeing it? Well, in the sense of. Think about more, it, because if you put it, if you expose it, like girl and girl is cool, guy and guy is cool, they can't produce. That's true. So you're eliminating that. I think they found a way to do it and control. be like, yo, we on your side? Yes. Listen, man. There's always and, and, looking at it like and that. Listen, like for anyone who's sensitive about it, I mean, we can always get more educated on it. Also, you get Absolutely. what I'm saying. But at the same time, but you can't see it like that neither. Though, like, yeah, no. I, I feel like you definitely should look at it like that. Because only only, only a guy now. and a girl could could, could reproduce. Could but produce. that's what I'm saying. So there's a female reproductive system. There's a male reproductive system. Right. But now, if and you're that's exposing... what separates male and female. So now you're telling them, nah, but you don't got to be called a male. All right, fine. But at the end of the day, like, my organs are male. Are spelling out, and my chromosomes are spelling out male at the end of the day. You get what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, you want to get scientific with it. Yeah, so, like, do, 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 do. and I'm only, my argument is only about the birth certificate part of it. To have that on a birth certificate. No, but I feel like that still got to do with population control because you're still controlling the way people think. Or is it these guys, uh, these men in power, they're like, yeah, there's too many females in this world. We got to start taking over. Now you ain't got a title? I don't know. You know what I'm it's saying? More behind like, it. <laughs> Yo, you guys are being... I need to open nah, my minds wild. a little more. So, oh, and then that shit Population that, control's out there now. And that shit that happened with the baby. Little where, baby? Where, oh, yeah, baby. No, the baby where he was oh, saying baby. all that wild shit. Yeah. So, there's a LGBTQ... QS plus. S plus? Is that I, I don't know. I, know that I know they got a plus um, in there. There is a plus in there. I know that. I just don't know what comes after Q. I don't know if that's the plus or not, but supposedly one of those organizations they wanna um, they wanna have a sit down with them. They wanted to sit down with them. Yeah, yeah to to educate them. Yeah, so I feel like I right, bro. Sounds gay, but not. Nah, but yeah, like <laughs> so. This is a sit penis. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> but, but you get what I, I, I mean? Feel like, like, I feel like we still thinking. All right, cool. Everybody, I feel like everybody should have their own goddamn mind. Yeah. But it's cool to be educated and yeah, learn. Yeah, that's great. You know, learn, that's great. Learn about but it, you also, know you gotta, why can't you look at it his way neither? Because that's the shit, right? Now, if you look at it his way, who's their biggest supporters? It becomes a numbers game, you know what I'm saying? Right, but then so it's people kind of start like, giving right, up their man. People actually start giving up their own beliefs and their own pride and their own other things just to, just to fit in, which I feel like, for me personally, I feel like he should just continue standing his ground. Get educated. But still stay on your ground. Like, yeah, I mean, if that's day, your opinion, a, in, in right. a way... It's all an opinion game. It is an opinion thing. So why can't he have an opinion, though? Or anyone. It yeah, is, like, like, how, how can you call there? him wrong? So that's what, like, the whole shit with T.I. trying to back him up. Well, T.I. Um, needs to stay out of it. T.I. got a lot going on. You got on. your own <laughs> shit going on, man. Yeah. Like, you got yeah. strippers saying you've been doing some wild shit. You need to relax. You need to stay over there with yeah, that. Stay, stay in your lane. You get what I mean? But... Well, uh, I know uh, Cyrus came out on his side. Like she wants to educate him. Also, I don't know where she came out being gay now. I don't know, Miley. Oh, Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Uh, oh, she's she's been gay. Well, now she was bisexual. She was bisexual. Cause she's been getting ran ran through. Uh, she was getting ran through when she was with Mike. Will made it. <laughs> Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Thor's brother? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so no, she didn't chose who. So it's not. It doesn't have to be a specific gender. It's she just love people. All right, all right but you see, and, and well, that, why can't you just fine. love people? Love people. Why you gotta make it a title? She did. She is though, because if you think about it, you want to eliminate all these other titles. You are making but, it a title. But she's also not saying she's a specific gender like the other chick, uh, Demi Lovato. She says she, now she do need help, so she wants to their community right now. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm like. <laughs> But she's like, yo, this shit ain't work people, here. This shit ain't work yeah, here. Yeah, but people want to be so different. Now, now I'm LGBTQ. Are you really plus. being different though? Cause you're not. No, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna run with the day. Oh, oh, okay. So let's get to that. So I was so. having this discussion because, um, so now I told you like uh, TikTok and shit. There's this girl that she has a um, Tourette syndrome, mm. and she was doing videos. She just be yelling. Yeah, yeah. No, she Damn. did. She did like a, a rant, like she'll whistle. Like her neck will twitch. Watch it twerks. And she'll like say fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. So <laughs> fuck. They they were <laughs> reporting her page. But she's like but her page is her educating people on like Tourette's, Tourette's and shit. Okay. So there was a, a person in the comments, because I was like, damn, like she got someone reported her. I'm like, damn, let me see what the fuck the comment page is on. So someone posted I'm 15 years old and I see myself as non-binary. We don't like when you say he or she, where they and like uh, you still entitling yourself. Wait, though. right? But let's not even get there. So, someone commented like, "Yo, but that's plural, right? right. Like they is plural, right? And if you're talking about yourself, that's singular. You know what I mean? Like, and the guy and someone else said, "Well, they could be singular too." And I'm like, Who "All right, but that? now you're just making shit up." I listen. I didn't do great in English class. But yeah, but, that's not how it works. So one dude was trying to say, if you see someone across the street, do you say him? Like, uh, do you say he or she? No. And I'm like, if I see a man, I say he. If I see a woman, I you? say she. I'd be like, yo, him. If, if I don't know what the person is, I still say he. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Until I see it's a girl. Yeah, but at the I, same wait, I don't time, understand. Wait, wait, how you calling them though? So no, because like you trying to catch your attention. Like I'm not gonna I'll say, catch your attention. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say, yo, they right there. You only see one person. Yeah, that sounds dumb. Now I feel stupid. You that know, that sounds what I'm saying? dumb though. Yo, they right there. That sounds dumb. Nah, that's me. Like you know what I'm ain't nobody over there. So, <laughs> only, I see one dude over there. <laughs> so what I'm gonna say is that that person if i don't see it's a male or a female that person because that's not like a thing that's though. one person at the end of the day you're calling yourself non-binary and fine whatever do whatever you, you want to be do, difficult Shut but up. don't you can't sit there and tell me is we we call each other they because you're still titling yourself that's, that's still male and female still a title you're still titling it so now you're they okay now you a third title now male, you female, an indian they. Like, you know what i'm saying male female they that's dumb I want to see a football team now be called the Days. Days. <laughs> the Dallas Days. The Washington Days. <laughs> but no, so you get what I mean? Like, and then for a 15 year old, like, bro, you haven't experienced shit in life yet. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. I feel, yeah, first of all, I feel if you can't pay bills, I don't give a fuck what ass. you are. <laughs> give a fuck what you are. So you get what I mean? Yeah, and listen, you got no conversation. If you tell me you're non binary, I'm fine with it. Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying. That's your problem. Yeah, that's what exactly. So that's you. But don't let me tell me. But don't tell me, to tell me I, how damn. I gotta. Address but then you, you can't even educate neither because you're sitting there like, no, we're called day. All right, explain that to me. Yeah. And you can't explain it because you're sitting there sounding stupid. Yeah, like uh, try your best. To What's educate? How you educated edu on that? Yeah, how that's the English that? language. Yeah. Educate me on it, like because now if you're gonna make shit up, then I'm about to make some shit up. Yeah. I'm with it. Call me king. Call me God. Call me this. And don't tell me that I can't be um, called yeah. that. Like, nah. Yo, Dunny. Yeah. <laughs> what it's up, Dunn? Dun? Yeah. Oh, Dunn language. Deep. You know what I mean? Like, so So that's my thing, too. Like, we can make up all these little titles at the end of the day. Like, So we should use little slangs, then. I'm down with that. Yeah. So we, that's it. We start, uh, we stop using the N-word. And call it. You gotta come up with something. Else. You gotta come up with something. Yeah, yeah. You gotta come up with something. But no, so it goes back to 
it's still a title at the end of the day. Yeah, you're still no matter how you want to. Still got to spin. Listen, you can be straight, gay, lesbian, bisexual, LGBTQ that's plus. That's you. But now, now you got to. Is non-binary part of that? If you don't, uh, if you don't associate yourself to be a certain gender. Is that the same way if your your sex sex preference? Are you, you like get Paul, what I'm the alien? Oh, I thought you meant like a barber. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what Paul be doing. Saving deer. Save it. Shape Captain, up and save a deer. Captain Planet over here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking doing. Wait. Oh, is he the heart? The little Indio? He. Ah, uh, Paul's definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you? So non-binary means. Non-binary, non-binary means. Relating to. Not relating to. So you multiple things. That sentence sounded confusing to me. <laughs> like, I don't even crazy. know what you just said. Like, I'm going to need you to reread that. Like, gender identity, gender identity. So it's gender, but it's not sex. So gender identity that does not fall exclusively in man, male, or woman, female categories. Some examples include gender queer, gender fluid, agender, and gender. Well, we're queer, we're here, and we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I feel like people got a lot of time on their hands too. Yo. Yeah, you got a lot of things. Like whoever started making up well, these, COVID, COVID was wild. That's what it was, right? Because listen, bro, like back in the day, you were either straight or you were gay, whether that was gay, well, male or and lesbian. Then, and now you, I feel like, and that's another code too. People are not t- paying attention to it too. So the war has always been black and white, but now you're making making it a sexual. Yeah, thing now too. that's our that's our new war. That's crazy, and, and it's crazy because and like you numb it, but then you numb the size in the fact of the black and white fights. Somebody's up behind the screen, man, telling you guys this. Back there, <laughs> you know. Now nah, I'm saying, you know, what I mean, now well, because they they think about it, like people not really looking at it like the a black and white race no more. Now they're talking war. about uh, her and Shim. Where the fuck do I call themselves? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going into the bathrooms. Dad was telling me a story that they had hired they had hired somebody at the spot, and she didn't she didn't want to be called a her. Okay, you know, she was a dude. Dad was confused. Was like, I see a girl. Sorry, Shorty went into the guy's bathroom. See, there's, and there's, Dana was like, Yo, how was she using the bathroom though? She he was like, Yo, she was in the stall. That's disgusting. I don't so even then he was like, think yo, it's like, was it the cups that they like, use when you go camping? How you aimed, yo? She got the cups when you go camping. It's like a but funnel. See, but see, that's nasty too because now you just walking around with a funnel in your hand. That's weird. But uh, <laughs> no, that's a whole different conversation. But all right, <laughs> I will say that one for another day. So to be, right. but to be, but check this out. In that place, they have single bathrooms. Why don't you just go in there? It's hers and his bathroom, right, no matter so what. And then they have like the bigger bathroom that got multiple stalls, both sides, guys yeah. and girls shit. Why wouldn't you just go to the single bathroom? Right, so when it comes to that, I feel like you need to draw a boundary line, right? Because then now you can have a perv. You can have this weird ass man that says, "No, nah, I'm a female, and I'm gonna go into this female bathroom and start doing wild shit in there." Well, imagine that you go <laughs> like, in the uh, you go you in the get, store and Shorty looks over, we smack her in the head like you would do a goo. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know if you're gonna do something to my kid. Like Yo, you, but imagine you, you saying, saying, "I'm looking at a man." Oh, you like, sitting there paying now, and, they look over and the she's store, just looking. Yo, what you got, bro? I mean, you never had a dude. You ever looked at a dude just looking at you? But that's what I'm saying. But now so you have this girl. Enough, I gotta deal with that. So now now you know, I gotta got deal with this woman that thinks she's a man and, then and you still go, staring at my shit. I'm gonna look at you. Like, I'm like, you don't got this right. <laughs> Am I wrong for that? <laughs> she shouldn't be looking. I'm saying he shouldn't be looking. So he's be doing some wild shit. Yo, I be on the wall though when I go. Like when, first of all, guy cool. You're not supposed to. If it's just two stalls, you're supposed to look up. Yeah, yeah that guy code is you're supposed to look up. Yeah, but or go to the toilet, or go to the yeah yeah. Like, like they usually have toilets. Like listen, my man, this bathroom is empty right now. There's eight stalls, and you came next to oh, me. Oh, next to me. <laughs> you supposed to use every other one. It's every other, yeah, unless it's packed. Now it's yeah, unless it's packed. All right, cool, because it could be twenty dudes in the bathroom at the same time. Everybody's trying to pee and go, especially when you're drunk. Everybody's trying to pee. Word. But and like you look in up. The, it's in a giant stadium. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that long. Yeah, you don't know. It's a wall. Yeah, like you pee on yeah, the wall. Yeah, you pee on the wall. <laughs> you should do outside. Like, there's no privacy. Like you're just peeing with everybody else, right? 
But I, but I don't look over, my man. Like, nah, I expect you to nah, walk up to the, the thing wall is, and look up like I'm. But it's not looking up because <laughs> <up, 'cause laughs> it's open over there. So don't they pee in the wall? Too. So you just staring eye to you eye with a like, just holding. Yo, <laughs> how awkward is that? And now you a girl see, right, putting so yourself then, in that predicament. So, no, but then it gets to the point like, yo, my man. Don't look me in the eye. That's uncomfortable. Why you, why you fucking mean, bro? <laughs> That's uncomfortable. Like, yo, look up. Man, look I'm up. Saying, well, now you're a girl with a funnel in your hand, and you got niggas looking at your wig because they see you, you a girl. And where are you putting that funnel at? I don't know. She holding that shit in her panties. That's nasty. So now, all right. So now, all right. You got it. You got your period. They gotta get that. No. You just free play. Uh, that is nasty. That yo. means her drawers. Do her drawers collect some of this? I mean, if she wants to wear a class, Can you stop a period? No. Like you would have to get like a hysterectomy or something? Yes. Well, they won't stop it unless you want Yeah, but you can't tell this person she can't get it. Yeah, because now she a man. She and she. Well, he ain't ready for that. That doctor's gonna that's be like, ma'am, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Like, you have to keep that shit, yo. So that's a whole different that's conversation. Why, man, she said you out there free bleeding, yo. That is I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought it was free basing. <laughs> free bleeding is that's a dope name, yo. Free beating? You just out there stained up? How long are you wearing Word it? Word up, damn. Oh. Uh, Shelf life. Oh, okay. So There's an expiration date, right? They should be, but they're saying that they're not putting chemicals in it to keep it fresh. They're putting deodorizers in it to smell that something. Mm, they're good for the mm. total. So in California, they have. So when that shit says Island Breeze, <laughs> that's just. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, shit. I was hoping sand. Is that a scent? Shit. Sand? I feel like Island Breeze is a scent for everything, yeah. <laughs> fresh. Oh, Island Fresh. That's what it's called? Oh, uh, fresh scent. Oh, yeah. I mean, fresh scent, you got deodorant, you got nah, baby powder. Nah, but fresh scent, that, that's oh, like... Oh, it's just smelling like powder. It's not bad. Nah, that, that's more... It's not good for you because the, the taco in it, right? The tacos? The tacos in it. Uh. Taco meat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what is it called? It's let go? Yeah. So you bleed into your underwear. That's a lot of blood, though, no? That sounds like a that's lot. That's a lot. No, but your, your period can last up to seven days. If it happens. I'm saying, yo, you that's hold a lot of that tablespoons. You hold that shit between your ass and your coochie. Yeah, right. That's like, wild. Wow. Oh, you gotta smell mad. And now weird, you free yo. bleeding into a funnel and in the store right? next to me. Oh, <laughs> like, this, but the smell of it, it's gotta be insane. It's chunks, yeah. Like, and now you clogging the store, like, yo, like. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Cause the thing is green. It's clogged by stall. The stall. Now I got pee in this shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there's a clo- it's, it's like skin. It's like jelly, right? That's no, like skin. Yeah. You got a whole jelly. Now face. you got my. Now I'm peeing into this shit. Got a little shit. holes in the urinal block. block. <laughs> now I'm peeing into it. That's not weird for me. So you ain't worried about that. You worried about but you're you right. being. They do. A lot of places have a family restroom, and that's a private restroom. So right. I mean, at that point, you should use that restroom. No, but in, in that specific, specific place, they have four single bathrooms. And then they have oh, the okay. one in the middle that is... So now smoking. you choosing to be nasty. And be an asshole. And, and looking at me at the store. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that she did that, but I'm just saying that's... That make, you make it awkward for some people, too. Like, why isn't it awkward for that man? Yeah. Yeah, like, why, why can't that... Why see, can't it be, so this is my thing, because it's all about freedom. Right. That man has the freedom to feel some type of way. Right. Oh, he like don't. You, oh, he don't now. Because yours, yours is more important. Yours is more important. Yeah, it's, it's like, what makes you more important? Selfishness. That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of like, yo, like, yo first of all, bro. We relax. just came on and whipped out a funnel. <laughs> relax. You're trying to control us. I'm trying to see what, where it. you putting that when you're done. Are you rinsing it? You, you got questions. <laughs> I got mad questions. I'm yo. trying to learn. <laughs> I'm trying to be educated. Yeah, you want to educate. Please. What you educate me on this funnel, yo. Cause yo, to pee in a, in a store is uncomfortable. Cause yo, like first of all, she a helper. He a, is he a helper? Well, wow, she quit. Because if she you, quit after that, he said he haven't seen her after that. Oh my god! I don't know. If she quit. Or she got fired. I don't know how it worked. I don't know. I wasn't part so, of it. Uh, sexual harassment. I mean, hey, yo, she was in here looking at my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch! I grabbed my dick. And like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
She gets crazy after that. <laughs> that becomes a whole different conversation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, that that. You there's gotta be, rules. We gotta be. We gotta be what you call. Yeah. There's rules. You Is know there? what I'm saying? No, there's rules to it because no, because they saying that they saying they ain't no rules. Uh, they, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but see, and and that's wrong because anywhere you go, everywhere, there's always rules to being a certain place. Is so there? if that job says, hey. We take care of our employees, and maybe our male or female employees don't feel comfortable with um, the opposite sex being in there. I know you're non-binary, and that's fine, but they don't see it that way. You get what I'm saying? So there's a rule. You have to use a single bathroom. like. Be- but now you're singling me out. That's fine, bro. You singled yourself out, first of all. <laughs> like, yeah, you did that yourself. You did that. You get what I mean? So at the end of the day, you, gotta, you, gotta kinda, you have to respect someone else's privacy. Do you, though? That's what they're saying, pretty much. They're saying yeah. that you don't need to, and that's and that's the and that's where I see it is wrong because you're not respecting. They saying all that. It's all about <laughs> respecting each other. So if you're non-binary, I'm a straight male. We have to respect each other. You get what I'm saying? Do we respect my privacy? I respect yours. But they don't. So if you out there with funnels in your book bag, that's cool. That's your problem. Your book bag smells like piss. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like your book bag smells like piss, and now you're bringing that piss to the sink if you're washing it in the sink. That's where I wash my hand. And now I'm going to wash my hand, dude. You don't think that's nasty? That's gross. That's, yo, that whole funnel shit is wild, yo. I'm just saying it was a funnel. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck else you're going to pee in the fucking stool. Nah, nah, I believe it. <laughs> you know nah, I believe it. I believe it. Like, I don't know. I don't know how this shit works. How else are you going to do it? That's the only thing. I, I are you going to hug the wall? Yo, you, that means you got to <laughs> drop your pants. Oh, like in Step Brothers. <laughs> you know? All right, so never mind. She did it. She put a little leg up on the thing. Yeah, but, but she was in a dress. Dude, no, she wasn't. Uh, she wasn't. She was in pants. No, but, she had a dress on. Uh, I'm talking about the. Oh, girl. oh shorty had a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nah, because they. But so now you imagine walking into a bathroom and you see somebody <laughs> split open like that. And you're like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> but if you, and you I'm say that, am I wrong? Oh no, I got I got total freedom to be like. Like nigga, you did some you matrix that, shit yo? to pee. <laughs> That's some talented shit, yo. <laughs> you did some matrix shit to pee. Like how you got shit shit that strong that you could you could like, aim straight like, oh, like that. Shit. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? That just opens up a lot more questions. That's some scary coochie too. You're like, damn, you got that's that much strong. coochie strength? Nah, that's just strong. That's muscle, yo. That's Kegels? What is that? How you, that's how you Kegels. <laughs> One way you have a, 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 like a, a st- perfect is holding it for a while in a certain squat position. Oh, and it just shoots. I've been peeing and he like, it's not But it's not straight. But it's not straight. Except. <laughs> but it's not straight. No, you're not standing straight for it to go straight. All right, so what I need you to do. Right. I need you to go to your urinal. <laughs> and let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Let me know if you caught the. Uh, <laughs> that's weird, though. If right? you catch your ankles, you failed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the back of your pants are wet. Then you just. But that's what I'm saying. So you use it. Like, yeah, we got to go. Use it. <laughs> like, I know. I know we just got to the restaurant, but we got to go. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, why literally you peed yourself? Because like, I did. <laughs> like, oh, yo, you smell like pee right now. Shit, man. So that's the shit that we going through out there. That's wild. And I feel like you're still singling yourself. You're making the, the more difficult for yourself. Now, bro. my thing is, too, is that just in America? That's all over the world. No, I, I think we, we accept it more here. There's this country, well, that, kill, the, there's right, country or, that kills the right, right, right. people and like that and stuff. We, and it's, it's like I said, bro, yo, fuck it. Like, exercise your freedom. Absolutely. I'm cool with that. Yeah, but you can't. Like, you, I, never you, had I feel like you're pushing listen, it on listen, other people. We, we went to school with uh, kids Terms? that were gay. Like, Terms? Yeah, yeah, We went to school with them. Yeah. We went to school with, with men that were cross-dressed, and we went to school with all yeah, that. I've seen it. Yeah. That's their problem. Right. Never. I never had an issue with that. You do what you do. Do, do, do you, boo-boo. You know what I mean? But when you start forcing... Do you find it weird when like gay guys they call each other bitch? <laughs> bitch, yo, bitch. <laughs> bitch. They drag out that eye. Yeah. This, yes, this, this. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, bitch. He knows. He knows. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't find that weird. Nah, because I just. I mean, I call you, you a bitch when you do some do. bitch shit. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna call you a bitch when you do bitch shit. But, That's some bitch um, shit. Um, no, nah, I, yo, honestly, but they doing it on some. I never really paid attention either. Do so like, they doing it? No, like I know they did it. That's all you heard when we was in school. <laughs> like, I know. So I, I always look because Hana uh, Seven was talking about why are like straight men so against homosexuals or uncomfortable around them. I never been uncomfortable. I never been uncomfortable, but 
I feel like they play in the front because I grew up with my cousin that's gay. Now, yeah. This guy didn't speak the way he speaks now. Oh, so now and it's kind of like so, so he's playing like, the front flam- at one yeah, point. He's flam- bro- flam- wow, flamboyant about wow. it. Wow, yeah. And like you wasn't talking like that before. Yeah, like, like where you get that from? Like where'd you practice that? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And where were you holding that at? It's a YouTube video that shows you how to you do it. You get what I'm saying? Nah, I mean, well, this was even before YouTube came out. So my mom's brother, my uncle, he um he was married and all mm. before he came out the closet. Had a daughter. Mm. Like he had a kid. You McGrady. know what I'm saying? So then um I remember having this like discussion with this uh this lady I used to work at the one in church because she was like, Oh, it's a it's a lifestyle. Let's not make it a religious thing either. Right, like, but I know. also I, I didn't really have nothing for it because my uncle was married. He had a kid. So obviously his shit got hard enough to make that. And he played <laughs> You get what I mean? Before he came out the closet. But for him to get so, married, he was religious. Right. Think about it. So that's what I'm saying. Although so people just get married, I don't, I don't, get married. I don't know what to. I don't know what to call it. Like I, I wouldn't be able to have that argument with you. But at the end of the day, like yeah, he was married to his husband because then you know he got with his husband. Wait, what? Like after he got married to the lady, got divorced, he had a kid with her. Oh, he married a guy. He, yeah, he got you know, and um, he was with that dude. I think until he passed away. Like, oh shit. Yeah. Um, he was married for like twenty seven years, maybe. To the guy. With the guy, yeah. What was this legal at? I thought it just became legal a few years ago. Well, you know what I mean by marry. Like, uh, oh, they like, live this together. This is Puerto Rico, yeah. Oh, they live together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was that kind of marriage. Like, you know, they just live together for like so many oh, years. Like, so he's been in a relationship for 27 homos. years. You know what I mean? The wow, what? that's crazy. Like, homeowners? Oh, this is the homos. Oh. <laughs> they said homeowners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they were homeowners. Yeah, yeah. Homos, homeowners. Huh. That runs the same? <laughs> I don't get it. Why, why are they called homo? Homosexual. Uh, call them homo. So why get mad? I don't know. I just shortened the term. Don't we shorten everything nowadays? Oh, it's that. Oh, that like the the delivery. Oh, but don't you want to get singled out though? Isn't that what you wanted? Nah, nah. The no, because um, I'm confused with that one. The L. Before it was what LGB. Before lesbian gays. LG. That's being LG, LG. bisexual, right? LG, LG, they got the TVs. Oh, life good? Yeah. <laughs> so before, they were more about equal opportunity, though. Absolutely. They just wanted right. to all be the same. Right. So to, that's what we grew up seeing. But which is wild, because even in the 70s, the whole disco thing, that was all about the gays. That was the gay movement. Yeah, and I a believe, lot of people yeah, didn't yeah. see it like no, that. No, yeah, I believe it. And that's all that was. And then the 80s came and shit got wild. <laughs> it got a lot of control. It got a lot of control. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They were doing wild shit. Um, but no, so before it was all about just wanting to be equal. Now I feel like it kind of... And this is what I'm saying. I feel like because this is what I'm seeing being... Honestly, I don't think they even feel. I, I think now it got equal and then they just going beyond the level. Yeah, now. yeah. Like, nah, like, now, all right, now this we call force and this is what's going to be now. Like, yo, we're going to take over your birth it. certificate. We're taking right, so now it's like... They, so now it's for like, all right, now, now, now you're, you're trying to see how far you can take it, right? And like I said, I'm not educated on this and this is me just speaking freely, which... I have that. I could do that. You know what yeah. I mean? I could, and, you want my channel right now? Oh, you can't move for discussion. <laughs> Fuck. You, you clicked roofies. on this page, so you know what I mean. So, but if you want to educate, even if you want to come up here, write a comment. Uh, See that? I would rather have. Write an email to us. We yeah. I want bring somebody up with us. Yeah, about email. It. Don't slide in the DMs. Just write a message. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yeah, that shit was weird. Here, that shit yo. got weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> you ain't sliding in my DMs. No, but definitely just, uh, if you feel like we are remember, yo, remember, remember on Facebook back in the day you were able to like knock on a person's page? Wave. You were able to wave or something. So, poke, poke. Oh, it was poke. poke. It was poke. I right, don't poke either. Just wave. <laughs> wave first. I ain't trying Let me poke. know you here. <laughs> yeah, no, but up. if you feel like um, we we missing a term or we missing something or we aren't educated about it and you want to educate and maybe you want to come up in here and we could have the conversation. Because at the end of the day, you're talking to... Two guys in their early thirties, so we already experienced seeing I'm, everything. A I'm certain thirties. Oh, you mid thirties? All right, he's mid thirties. Oh, he's pushing forty. I'm not pushing forty. I'm mid thirties. Um, so you get what I mean? Like we're two males <laughs> um, that were raised and seen things a certain way. So there's room for education, you know, in our lives too. I mean, I don't. Well, I, I mean, don't have I, I, I feel like a back and forth. I would love to have a back and forth. The discussion would be just cool. know you're gonna be annoyed. Or were you? 
I feel like if you're annoyed, nah, then you're not if educated. You say, if you say some wild shit. <laughs> but if you're annoyed by yeah. something, you're oh, not no, educated. Yeah, 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 so I don't want you up here. I want someone that's super educated. You get what I'm saying? Because so, I feel like if you have a point, you know, there's no reason yeah. for anybody else's point of view to frustrate you because you're educated. Right. You know what you're talking so about. So, like, yeah, yeah. So, what you, what you the, about? Do you work with the swinger? He's wild. bisexual. He's all type of shit. I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> He's wild, and I, I do. Wanna, and, I, and I get along with the dude. The dude is a, he, but he, he got a good heart. The guy's so, cool as fuck, and, and he does wild shit. But he's, right, right. But he's funny. Yeah, at he's the end cool. of the day, yo, it, that shit all depends on the individual. Yeah, like, I mean, he doesn't I push that shit upon me or anything like that. That'd and be the good. second he do, then it's like, yo, my that's, man, that's stop. Weak. Yeah, that's another area. That's another area. Yeah, yeah. Now you're knocking another door. You trying yeah. to poke me? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to kick this door down? <laughs> we not this ain't working that. like that. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but we 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 fuck around, we joke around and shit like that. Yeah. The dude's cool. Nah, man, I, I got listen. nothing against him. Like, and it's, it's, whatever he does behind closed doors, that's his beef. In that area, I don't mind being educated with um you telling me like what it is. Okay, boom, and that goes with religion. That goes with oh, I would love to have gender. a religious person up. I would love to have just different. Yo, you know how many conversations, conversations. me and Lamar just got into about religion? Because he's religious. Bro, I broke so that, that shit down to him millions of times. He's never listened to me. Well, so that's what I'm saying, though. Like, there's nothing wrong with us. You seeing me as uneducated and wanting to educate me. There's nothing wrong with that. No, absolutely not. But yeah, you man. also have to understand that. I'm going to educate it's you. My, yeah, it's my like, point of yeah, view. Yeah, I'm going to educate you better. And I'm like, sure I'm not the only one out there that thinks like this. So right. I, and I'm not going to sit here and be like, give me a letter. <laughs> like, right, because that you know, goes back like, to like um when there was... They were like trashing these uh, YouTube uh, music reactors because, and I said it before, Lil Nas X, well, he just he went out of their comfort zone and did something, but that's his comfort zone and that's cool. But look, check this out. Oh, now he's not trying to be a gay rapper anymore. He's trying to be a rapper. He's just trying to be a cowboy rapper again. That's cute. So it's like, bro, you can't pick and choose what fad you want to jump well, into too, man. I heard Lizzo the other day on Hot 97. She had an interview Friday, I think it was, Thursday. Oh, uh, when she killed somebody in uh what? No, she said <laughs> it was, was a rumor. She said I was fucked up. <laughs> she said the reason they do that is because she's fat. That shit had me bugging though. She said that, but it had me bugging because like, wasn't you trying to lose weight? They um, they <laughs> she said they started a rumor and that shit was it was catching some uh some it was catching some good friction, bro. Like that she uh, stage dived. And killed and somebody. She killed the fan. <laughs> she landed on. Yeah, her. it was fake. She, she, she was like, they do that because I'm fat. But <laughs> like, can you imagine being that, like being Lizzo and hearing that? I was like, damn, that shit stuck though. Like people, really no, but she, I, that? honestly, she's Fuck very, up. she's all right. So I, I she's very I, self conscious. I give her, yeah, no, but she, she loves who she is and she's comfortable and she jokes around and a lot of things that she writes, she nah, does it low, to catch it a wave. Low key, bro, because she speaks about it a lot too. No, 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 but. But this is my thing. She's in. She's like in. What? Well, well. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's your opinion of her. I mean, yeah, it is. She. I. Th I don't think she's like a great artist. I feel like all her music sounds the same too. No, I just find her annoying because I like see her videos on TikTok. Like, yeah, it just happens again. Like, oh, oh. No, but she does a lot of things to annoy people. On purpose, but she like, says that people hate on her, on the other side because she's fat, and she uses that. But I remember a few years ago. Uh, a, year yeah, ago, a year ago, she was she trying was to lose weight. To so serious. you got famous off being the fat girl. Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson? Who? Hilarious. Oh, yeah. Fat. Lost Hilarious. weight. Lost weight. A lot of them lost weight, but they're still big girls. They're still big girls. But you got famous off that. That's how people see well, you. They didn't use your weight as for me on fat. Well, you know what? That goes back to Jonah Hill, though. Jonah Hill. Because Jonah Hill, I mean, but he people were making him now. feel bad, though. Because... He was self conscious. Yeah. So Man, if you got that, that confidence, you're good. Yeah, yeah, That's nah, bro. He was, yeah, bro. Seth, That's that dude. Seth, but he Seth. lost weight. I mean, he looked but he was also self conscious, though. Well, back like, his neck looked crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Back his head looked nuts. Uh, it's like, a, like we said about Ox. Ox never looked at it in a negative way. He embraced it. He, he embraces. Like, this is who I am. But, like, you know what I mean? And I get it. Not everybody has that. Jose. Jose. Jose loves mad weight. Yeah, yeah. He he got self conscious a little bit, but probably didn't have that conversation with me because I'm not a fat guy. No, I'm not even told. No, hit a box, yo. <laughs> but he, but no, nah, he definitely. Box. Nah, I mean he lost the weight now. I mean, he, and you and you can see it that like he lost. A lot nah, I know. 
Like he put he put a lot of work into that. He goes to the gym. He, he did a, he did his thing. Like well, see, I mean? and then all right. So he that's another thing too. It. If you're really self conscious about it, then do something. Do about something about it. it. Yeah, definitely. And don't make no excuses because Jose works all day. Whether he needs to pick up his go home, pick up his kid, do it. He still manages to squeeze the, the gym. Well, yeah. it was it was weird. Pause. <laughs> he squeezed he gym. gym. Oh, Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Gets his work out. Like I, <laughs> I don't know what he won't be describing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you still, get what like I mean? he did like, something about it. You get what I'm saying? So I see that. Do I fat shame? No, I think I, I shame anybody. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. I get at anybody. Yeah, yeah, it don't shit. fucking matter. Yeah, I, go people try to make fun of me. Yeah, because I'm bored. A That's shit. a thing nowadays. Like everybody's bald. Uh, <laughs> so the, the past week I was looking crazy because I didn't get a cut for a while, and uh, I was at work. And this dude, he's he's from Patterson too. He he comes up to me, he's like, "Oh shit, you do grow hair." And I was like, "My man, my oh, man, who are you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I grow hair, bro. Where mean? you see me at? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I grow hair." <laughs> So, oh my you know what God. I mean? I'm, I'm not ashamed of being bald. I'm gonna shit. I got, I had hair most of my life. No, I don't. Yeah, that's it. And you had a beard. You had that shit before it became a thing. <laughs> you, did. I had, you get what I mean? I had a mustache. Yeah, you had a mustache in like second grade. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they and, call me Pringles. And you had a. <laughs> They call me the Pringle dude from That's fucked up Like 7th grade That's fucked up <laughs> Look at that blackout <laughs> Nah You know what I'm saying but, but did I sit there and like cry Nah cry me you just went out, You know It is what it is I embraced it You know to me um, This dude um, I don't want to say his name But he went a long time He went a long time being called Pringles? Monkey or they say oh. like gorilla, right? But what he did, and this was his shit. This used to bug me out. He um he was well, you know, we were close, like when we were younger. He spent his whole time watching uh like all the Comedy Central shit, like all the stand up comedy, all that other shit. And to learn how to like defend himself. Oh, jokes back like jokes, jokes back. yeah. But what happened out there? He used to get at yo. He got to the point where he was getting at any and everybody, and then pissing these people off left and right. You get to the point where everybody wanted to fight him. But you get what I mean. But it's like yo. But that's a mechanism though. Because they say when you get when you pick on somebody, is that you have some kind of. Deficiency Well a lot of people Were fucking with him You get what I'm saying So that was his way of uh, Giving back And then he gave back And he just kept going <laughs> like, hey. Yeah he had everybody Wanting to fight him like, That's dope Cause bro. at that point he didn't, he didn't stop anymore I mean you saw it Like you saw how many people Stopped hanging out with us Because it got to the point Where this dude was unstoppable <laughs> Like with just Right but, he, but also He got to a point Where he didn't know To take a joke Yeah so I'm the type. Well, I always been the type of person like I'm not self conscious about anything. I'm pretty confident about it myself. Yeah. But I'm a type of person. I could take a joke. I'll laugh right along with you. In fact, I'll probably make your joke better. Like you'll yeah. say a joke at me, and I'll be like, ha, and then I'll make it better. Like I'll yeah. say something like, no, it's more like this. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? But and then I'll make start making fun of you. But there's some people that can't take that. Well, that goes back to just think about what his childhood was. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so he can't take that. He can't. He, he could could dish it. There, he, he could dish it. He but once you got it back, it, yeah. like, and he knew who to pick on. Right. He picked on the people that wouldn't have the jokes. Well, I mean, for for the most part, there weren't a lot of people there that were able to get back either. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yo, know, because he had some people in their feelings. Bro. Absolutely, like, he did. I. I mean, he never had me in my shit. I put him in no, the but you a saw few times. Yeah, but you saw like it was people. Oh, we I were seen close people. Yeah, with. I seen. <laughs> like, I seen people like yeah. that just got real emotional. You know? Yeah, yeah. I seen and it. then what happens when you grow up in that lifestyle? Like yo, man, stop being a bitch, bro. Like you know, man. So nah, I hate him. Like relax. <laughs> but even that, you know, what I mean, it's like he still couldn't take a joke. Oh no, 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 for sure. That's that's like, that was a form of being bullied. Though. And with me, he, he, I felt like at times he used to hang out with me at least. 
Because you knew one. I wouldn't really pick on you like that. Like, we chilling. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, you but never I, really started with anybody. But if you would say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all right. Well, see, I'm going to get at your that, ass. So like, that was the difference, too. Mad. That was the difference, too. Um, you weren't really starting shit with nobody. I ne- we was, I, we I always never, sat there. I never and, started with anybody. Right. I've never been like that, but you always got that person to want to start. For the most part, we just cracked on people that were walking by. Yeah, I mean, and even I, whether we were saying it I mean, I st- to no, I st- them. No, but I still do it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a people sir, a, sir, a server. <laughs> Is that the word? You said like seven words. <laughs> I'm a people. You observe? Like, yeah, yeah, I serve people. Yeah, you people watch. I see everything. Yeah. yeah. And, and I see like weird that's shit. That's definitely do. all we did growing up, though. I still do it, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those things that we're never going to let go of. No, nah, absolutely not. Like, I'm good at seeing Like, how like, people watch all day and but just I'm, bug out, yo. I'm good at and it, yo, you comparing might find things that, to people. You might find that shit weird, but that shit got me through days. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yo, we like, ain't, if we ain't have no, no, like, whether you ain't have no cable or you ain't have shit in your house, we just sat on the block and people watched. That's all we did out there. Yeah. So, but still, I'm good at... You play spades. Like, I'm good at <laughs> able to compare things to people. Like, you see something, I'll be like, that motherfucker like this. Like uh, when you call this pop Scarface. A Koopa. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, you sound like Tony. <laughs> it's like, what? That you get what funny. I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's, it it's like, that. You know, know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Started talking Spanish. I'm like, yo, Papi, I speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he was just like He was like oh, oh shit nah, fuck it, <laughs> this fuck let, let me drive quicker And get this nigga out my <laughs> get car the yo. Fuck out my yo. car He was like Yo Tell him to shut the fuck up I'm gonna kick him out the car I'm like Yo I speak Spanish bro <laughs> That shit blew his mind That shit did blow his mind He was like oh shit <laughs> Going up McBride ass <laughs> <laughs> shit blew his mind. Like, like I still oh, remember where we were at, bro. This nigga speaks <laughs> Spanish, like yeah, motherfucker. I speak Spanish. Out of yeah, all no, of us, man. I speak the best Spanish, nigga. And no, honestly, I I feel like us growing up that way is why we're not so judgmental. Like I don't, I'm not judging. I'm not when you say nah, you're not I, binary. I'm not judging you. You I get what I mean? Huh? I don't, I don't judge you. Nah, I and I feel are... like us growing up that way is what kept us from being so judgmental. Because at the end of the day, think about outside of our lifestyle, everyone has judged us. You get what I'm saying? When I started working in these yeah, white towns, when people tell you where you're from, like they're like, "Yo, you're from Patterson," and they already feel some type of way. They yeah, have this like, whole thing. I didn't get jobs because of that, man. No, that's that's a lot of people. I didn't, I didn't get jobs because of where you live. Yeah, and that's the thing. Oh, where do you live? No, that's definitely a thing. Yeah, they were I'm scared. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, and it's crazy because then you don't, you're judging me off of it. And you don't even know me. No. I mean, I'm just trying to make a living. And you might be thinking, oh, I had a dude from Patterson and he robbed me. Yeah, he's going to try to rob us or like, Damn, I'm it's going to bring drama or it's like, no, nah, I'm just trying to get this right. check. Like, yo, how many kids you got? <laughs> like, I don't have any. <laughs> yeah, I just told you I'm 15, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like, damn. I know I got a mustache. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, you man. look like somebody. Like, yeah, but that's true. Man. Um. Cause the when we worked in in high school when we worked at that spot in Paramus Christmas tree shops, I didn't get that job because of that. All right, so look, nah, peep this. They hired so everybody that was hired there prior to the store opening. We might have to censor out the names because this because this is a it'll be a legal thing, right? Everyone was um from Patterson. Mm. Before the store opened, when the stock in the shelves, getting all the trucks ready, getting the, the well, stores you know why, ready. Right? Cause one of the managers there was from Patterson. All right, but look what happened. Once the store was fully open and operational, they pushed everybody out. No, everybody got laid off. I got laid off. Right. But it's because of where you live. Which was crazy, yo, because I was in high school make, doing 40 something hours a week. <laughs> I was making money there. For a high school kid, I was making money. I was killing it. I, yeah, I made my money too. You I get what I mean? It. So, one, once, yo, and then it was wild because the whole, the whole like essence of the store changed. You didn't have Spanish or black people no more. Mm. Now it's just all now it's a corporate old place. retired like white women. Right, because in Paramus, place. that's that's where you're at. You know what I mean? So you had you used the youth to make quick buck. Yeah, you use the youth and the fact that they're from that town, they're going to take that pay you give them. Right. I mean, I took the pay. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it was above minimum and, wage, and I so feel of like course that, I took it. I and I in, definitely I feel like that affects, that, that affects 
how you get paid, man. It, no, and it affects the way um, you yourself, if you let it bother you, it affects the way you look at trying to get a job. You get what I mean? Like, damn, right. I go there and I get fucking judged because of where I'm at. Like, I'm going to end up here. And you end up working in a fucking well, it's like t- I said, t-shirt shop in fucking downtown Patterson, like, your whole life. You're going to be there. You're like 40 years old. You're going to be there. And you was there since high school. You was there at 15. Yeah, you was there at 15. Yeah. And you still there. Right. Selling the shit out them shirts. Probably getting like 50 cent more. You're not getting that pay. But that, that goes along with uh, the way the program is. That keeps you in that's that area. keeping you in the area. That's how the towers are set up. That's how the projects Every, are set so up. So it's a lot of things that people don't really look at. You know what I mean? Well, and, people outside of the town, because yeah. everyone in the town they see it. Nah, but not a lot of people don't. Well, a lot of people don't choose to be to act on it either. No. Nah. You know what I mean? They, they know they're in the system. They know that this is how it's set up for them, but they choose to keep themselves there. Cause yo, a lot of the motherfuckers that were out there, some of them were smart as fuck like yo just stop being lazy you well that to goes be with here. that goes with um a lot of these places having like talents you know what i mean yeah like real talented people real athletic people they could do probably better than some of the people that we know of but if they didn't get the right choice or did the right thing then they make it to that higher value spot like to the nfl to the nba so you're like that, that i've dude, seen some Crazy basketball yeah. player, Bruh, that football dude, player. That dude in Patterson that used to be at Westside Park, he used to be at Pennington Park, uh, they called him Put. Put it on. Put it on him. Put was known through Patterson for balling. Right. Now, why couldn't he get a chance to be an actual professional basketball player? Just never left that area. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. There's but talent it's out there. it's crazy because when we were growing up, like, everybody knew his name. You know what I mean? Writers. Like, and I've watched them ball. But think about bro. writers. Like, Holy shit. Creativity levels that they're being shorted. Oh, now you're talking about. Shorted. They're being shorted out of it just because you're from an area. Right. Well. You get what I'm saying? You could get some crazy talent out of it, but you can't expose it because the area you are or the, the resources are not there for you to well that's the that was the biggest thing the resources weren't there for a lot of us you know what i mean so Yo, we had some people that could draw their fucking asses off yeah i know people they couldn't make it into fucking wayne tech and they didn't get that chance no nah, tech was like nah we're good no nah, you didn't write your essay long enough yeah you no, and that was the shit tech yeah. you had to write an essay to get in there yeah, it was like three pages or something like that like, yo, man, trying. you were a page short. Yo, I couldn't afford that page, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to keep it on I didn't know what else to write. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I mean? Like, Why should um, you accept me? Motherfuckers, like I'm was, trying to go up here. I'm trying to get up the hood. Like, there was... um, 23 times the, on a page. <laughs> there was a... Uh, there's just... There was so much talent that we saw growing up. And that still to this day, like... You don't find that talent. You know what I mean? Like, as much. Like, in dates, but... Institutionalized, that's what they call it. Yeah. Just keep them there. They're, they're just there. They're stuck there. You get what I mean? Like, you have to hold them back. And even when it comes to rapping. Yeah. You know, many motherf- Yo, these motherfuckers used to spend days, all day, all night, freestyling, writing songs, making tapes. And they just, they yeah, never they, left that area. You right. know what I mean? Like, you local, you're a local rapper. Just, you're literally. You're the west side of Patterson, or you're the east side of like you were stuck on the side yeah, on top crazy. of it in your own fucking town. But I feel like some people cut themselves short, and that's why they don't reach that next level. Well, it's too. the fear of losing. Yeah, like if I get out of this block, what else am I got? What else I have? So yeah, it's that. It's a lot of stuff. It's, it's a lot of psychological shit to it. Too. Yeah, but we gotta stop signalizing it and make it to whatever it is. And it sucks. Well, I mean, nowadays, I think there's there's more programs in the town that help people, you know what I mean? Like, for us, we didn't have it. Like, because, yeah. Honestly, there's nothing to do out there. What is there to do in Patterson? There wasn't shit to do. That's why we left. Or what is there to do now? I don't even know. I don't for even know kids. what it looks like over there. Like, yo, I, st- and- I haven't been to our block to chill. I haven't been there. Since probably for like about eight, nine years now. Probably about the same time. Right? Like 2013, 2014. It was the last time I actually hung out there. Yeah, so, it, it, but we had the chance of being, you know what? It's time to grow up. What's the next step for us? Well, I got to watch I'm out. people that, uh, well, 
I had the the opportunity that I had an older brother that had different all different types of friends and I seen some progress and I seen some just get stuck left behind right you know what I'm saying and Ox himself like my brother he had people that were way older than him that he was hanging out with right and then you know just the thought of as I was getting older the thought of me being in my 30s and 40s and hanging out with kids that were still in high school yeah or like, I'm away from my boys to get out of school like, yo that shit <laughs> That's what we went through, though. <laughs> to smoke weed. That shit felt crazy. Like to when be I started thinking at your of porch it. at your parents' house. Yeah, like right, like hey, yeah, my man, what you doing with yourself? Like yeah, I was nah, just so, waiting for you. But then those people don't have much, man. Right, like, right, nah. There's no judgment towards them. It just it helped me, like because right, it helped me. Like, like I was like, damn, I, I don't want to be that person. Yeah, I want to be that guy. I want to be better, and which is I feel like they should look at. It. They helped me succeed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a uh, um. I opened that conversation with my dad about a week ago, and it was kind of like that because I'm like, "Yo, you um, like how he was raised and how he came up. Like it was like that, and I'm like, you know, you should never feel bad about it because like, that's uh, why he, I'm he the way felt, I am. He felt bad like as how he raised you. Well, how I was raised. I, I okay. was raised by my parents, but I was raised just like my dad was. You get what I'm saying? But me and him, totally different people. Totally different people. We had different. I had I had different goals than he had, and I I chose differently than he chose. And for anyone who doesn't understand, you mean your dad was raised by his parents, and you were raised by his parents, right? Right. So, I got to to either make the choices that he made, or I could pick B. Right. And most likely, I picked B, and I I, I moved to different. And that's why we and are where we are now. Right. So you can't be mad or upset or anything because if it wasn't for that, I yeah, probably like, would have been like, picking A the whole time. Yeah, like don't feel guilty about you know it, man. man. Like it feel is. guilty if I ended up like you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, feel good, man. But, we good. We good like, out here. Like, why, would, why would I? That's the same way I feel towards my pops. Like I'm not mad at you, bro. Like right. no matter what you think I may feel, whatever the case may be. You just showed me what not to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like, I, I explained that to my mom too. Like, don't don't feel bad. Like, I'm I'm happy. I'm this is the man I am because yeah. of it. If it wasn't for those decisions that you guys had to make at a young age, which I understand. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. My mom was 18, 19 years old. Yeah, with two kids man. already. Yeah, I know that's wild. I'm an older man now and I understand like this is a fucked up decisions you have to make. Yeah. But somebody's got to make them because you want something good for at least that kid. How are you going to teach the next year? Right. Right. You know so then. I mean? So I, I'm, I never hold grudge on that. You get what I'm saying? And there's I people also, out there that do. And there's people out there that also have been through it and chose A and started that's living what I was the about easy to say. life. You like, know what I'm saying? And, but you know what it does? Some people uh, also grow up seeing their parents fail or seeing their parents' failures and thought they weren't strong enough. So mm. I'll do it. I'm trying to do it. Like, yo, way. if my parents fail, bro, I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'm going to just do this. And they're, they're fucking 16 years old facing a fucking robbery and murder case. You know well, what I mean? Thing, because yeah. so, But that's a, that's, a, that's a train of thought. And it's like we spoke about before in the podcast. Like, staying stuck on that chain. Yeah. Instead of breaking You got to break it. Yeah. And breaking away from it. Like, you always want better. I mean, at least I do. I always want better. I always want to be in the next step like yeah you know what i mean like it is what it is like and you then whenever you know you have your kids and you want them to be better than you so absolutely you're trying to you know what i'm saying like yo look my mom my mother is what one of uh, i think 14 or 16 kids you know what i'm saying so and my mom dropped out of high school she did all that shit. you know what i mean like and what she never wanted me to drop out of it you know what I'm like yeah, push you. you know it, it'll get there man like it's gonna get to the point where either one of my kids or one of their kids like they're fucking successful fucking millionaires right. one of them like fucking, reach you. Yeah, you know what i mean someone's gonna you. make it you yeah, know what right. i mean like but so somebody's gotta start that chain and that that turn you know what i'm saying Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Fresh. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this page with all your friends and family, and leave a comment, positive or negative. Who cares?